Hey planner friends, it's Hope with Hope's Plans. Thanks for stopping by. If you're new here, I hope you stick around, hit that subscribe button, the notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up. Don't wait, do it now. I'll give you a minute while I welcome everybody out. Thank you for stopping back by. From the bottom of my heart, I do appreciate it. So in today's video, we are going to set up my January indexing page in January, of course, in my Sterling Ink. I went through the book and I kind of figured out where I wanted each month to start. So the start of each month, we'll get two pages, I think. That's the way it is right now, at least. Um, so I wanted like a quote page maybe, and then over here is gonna be some type of indexing, I think. I'm very scared. I will be using possibly these this is an Erin Condren fine to medium tip tip um felt pen I do have two dot markers of various blues I have four Criollo super tips in various colors and then I just went through my highlighters oh that's purple so that may not work but we're going to come back to those um, I just want to test them out to see what colors best match my um, theme for the month. So these two washi tapes are going to be the main washi tapes. I have some others that I'm going to throw in. I want this further down, I think. I have never done a plan like this, so I'm kind of scared, but I feel very creative this morning, and I wanted to batch some videos because I've been stinking at videos lately, and I really do enjoy making them. I just, I don't know, I feel like I don't have any creativity lately for whatever reason. All right, so first one down. I'm committed, committed to it. And like I said, this plaid white washi is going to be the highlight. And then we're just going to stick down this funny little snowman. Okay, that will be it. That's going to be the start of the month. There we go. And then I'll be throwing in uh, these three washies throughout the weeks. So that's my plan for all my washies. Let's put these away. All right, so let's find a piece of paper. And I have one right here. And let's try to figure out what markers go best. I don't think that one goes at all. So we're gonna put this one to the side. How about this one? And that's very surprising. That is a great color. Oh, dark blue, there it is. Fine print right there. Um, no wonder why I've never seen that because I need glasses to read that. Um, and here is a friction blue. I like that one as well. So we'll put that one over there. Let's do some dots. I don't really like that one. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully I like this one. This is more of a teal, so we're gonna have to go with this one. And then we got this blush pink, I think it is. That might be good. Let's see what color this one is. Ooh, that one doesn't, uh, no, mm, that one doesn't go together at all. This one is really close to this one. Maybe a little darker. So we're gonna pick that one. And let's try gray. I believe these are gonna be the colors of the month. We just got a random gray and just a plush pink, just to give it some color. So we got the colors, this is going to recycle, and there's that. All right, so for my indexing page for January, January. 
I am going to use the planner spot. Planner spot. Planner spot. There we go. I'm going to use her uh, January at the very top somewhere. That's my plan. And then I am going to make some squares. And the squares are going to be on the, like, what it is I want to accomplish this month. What are my objectives? These are all stencils I picked up probably from Amazon. Well, none of those work. I didn't like any of them. Let's try one more thing. I'm going to fast forward this part. All right, now that you see my big pile of mess, let's try this one. I've not used this. This I picked up at Hobby Lobby for $2.62. So let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. So these are things that I want to accomplish or things that I want to do for the month. So I'm hoping it doesn't have a bad bleed through. A little bit of ghosting, but no bleed through. So that is fantastic because I was worried. We're gonna give a little space because I think I want to outline it. Okay, so we're gonna do four. That should be plenty, right? Plenty of things you want to do for the month. January is cold, and you really don't want to be outside. Okay, Whew. there we go. Bam, done. Look at there. See what happens when you get a little creative? All right, so. We are just going to stick down this January sticker from the planner spot. Maybe if I don't rip it, that is. Okay, there we go. And it is going to go right here. No, oh, I ripped it. I knew I was going to do that. I'm glutton for punishment. I'm gonna come off my finger. They are very sticky stickers. Very sticky. Okay, it's not straight, but you know, whatever. It is what it is. Okay, we got the word of the year, which we don't want. We got these. Okay, we'll come back to that. Maybe, maybe, baby. Maybe. What are they going? Didn't I have one that said goals? All right there. So the January goals, they're not necessarily goals. Maybe aspirations would be more of the good word for it, but we're going with goals. But first, let's get this blush pink. And let's see if we can just give it a outline. A little ghosting, no bleed through. Ooh, that's good. It's always a worry. 
Wish I could just go all the way around without picking up, but then I can't see. Okay, that one's done. So let's put this one here now. Darn it, did it again. I know, I know. If I had only a pair of tweezers, if only. Oh, I made a mark. As the crafter in my house has like 10. Okay, I've added some color. Oh, that's very stressful. Okay, so first color. Let's go ahead and make a color chart. So we've got this, which as soon as it dries, we're gonna write the number 15 because I went through all my Corella super tips and gave them numbers. And then we are going in for this dark blue highlighter. We're gonna put that there. And then we're gonna use this Crayola Super Tip and we're gonna stick this right here. And my friction pen, and I'm pretty sure this does not say what color it is, and it doesn't. Friction highlighters are my favorite because you can go through and erase them. And then we just have this. We're going to give this a few minutes and then I'm going to go in with my Erin Condren felt tip pin. Wait for it to dry. And I think I'm going to use these from the planner spot. Maybe just to stick them down maybe. What do they call this art? Line art, maybe? It's awfully cute. Which has nothing to do with the snowman, but I like it anyways. All right. So now, now that this is dry, let's go in and do number 91, which is this one. This one is 15. And this here is 36, which is 36. This one's dark blue. This one's a friction. And I am missing my dot marker. Dot right there. So let's put those in my coffee cup. This is how I store my monthly usable pens, markers that I want to use. Okay, so we got that. Whew. Okay, then I want to go in and I have my goals. Somewhat, very loose goals. And then I want to go in and maybe put like an index because there's really no place I can put the index here, here. However, I am doing some tracking for the month of January. I'm gonna try it. I don't do habit trackers. I suck at it, but I'm gonna try it here. And then over here, like important things that have happened throughout the day. But here, I think I wanna list all, something I need to know within these pages, I think. So I need to go in and date this, and I'm going to fast forward this because I don't think I'm going to be very good at it. Um, how many days are in January? 31? 31. Yes, 31. So let's go in. I'm going to try very hard to date these. Maybe. I'm going to fast forward this, and you'll probably hear a bunch of cussing. Look at there. I did it. I don't think I screwed up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. I didn't screw up. 
So that's very exciting. Exciting. All right. So when is the weekend? Does it matter that I need to know when the weekend is? I don't think that really matters. I don't think I'm going to put that. I don't think so. Okay. So I did get these little stamps. Which are here. Let's see. Let's start with a Monday, Monday, Monday start date. Monday, Monday, Monday. Oh, there's Monday start, I think. So I thought I would put this stamp like right there. Okay, let's see how this works. Take a deep breath and go for it. Not too bad. I wish the little square wasn't around it, but it is what it is. It is what it is. We are testing this out, people. That's all we're doing. This is a tester. January is for testing out. Monday start date, because I'm a Monday girl. Perfect. Look at there. I did it. I did it. I'm very excited. Now that we got that accomplished, I think I do want to put the Monday date, Monday, like make it known that it's Monday. So, because Monday is my day. That's, that's the start of the new week. So the first, the 8th, the 15th, 22nd, and the 29th. So I know that those are the Mondays of each week. I got this page done. I don't know what I'm doing here yet, but I got one page done. Yay, 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 celebration. So I hope this, uh, this page gives you some ideas. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them uh, below. And as always, stay safe and keep on planning.